HyperTime is a cloud-based service that helps you to analyze and monitor the voice call traffic. This service offers you real-time monitoring of the gateway performance, predefined report generation, alerts or various parameters as ACR or ACD, wide range of customized alarms to suit your operational needs, and offline services that will come soon. So if you are looking to have more control locally and remotely of all your gateways, HyperTime is the right tool. For more information, you can visit our website and www.hyperms.com services. So today I will show you how to use this service. The first step is to register. So we go to services in order to enter to the traffic analyzer and this is the page that we are in this moment. Then we proceed to register, choose your login details, password and all information required in this form. Once it's done, you can make click and register. When clicking on register, you will receive an email confirmation. Now, in order to access the service, enter your previous email and password and click on login. Now, this is our first window, which is divided in three parts. On the right side, you will find a publicity window with the latest offers and promotions. On the left side, you will find the HyperTown menu window. And in the center, you can see the displayed menu information. So the first step is to add the gateway information in the gateway management window. For that, click on Manage Gateways. Here you can enter the gateway details like name of your gateway, IP address and gateway's password, which is the same password used by the HMC application. It's very important that you notice that the ports 80 and 8870A must to be open on the gateway network to enable the CDR pooling. And the second thing is that you can use the HMC application to double check that the IP address and the password are the correct. Then click in Add Gateways. Once you enter the correct gateways information, you will see the added gateway in My Gateways. Here you will find the gateway name, the gateway IP, password, the time zone where the gateway is located, the setup day, the last pull day, and the subscription. Okay, as you can see, we have three gateways, IP, password, each one, the time zone where the gateway is located. It always will take the information where the gateway is located. The setup date, the last pull date, when the server was synchronized with the gateway's information, and the subscription time. When all this is done, the web interface will log into your gateway in order to pull the CDR file. It will take several minutes until you will see the graph in the dashboard. So then if you see the graph in the dashboard, the configuration was successful. And as we can see here, we got three graphics that corresponds to the three gateways in my gateway list. But what you really see in the graph? This graph displays three data items, which is are the ASR, average success radio. It means it shows you the average of calls connected. And it also has the ACD, which is the average call duration. And we also have the graph of minutes. So in this case, ACD will come in green color, ASR in orange color and the traffic itself will come in gray. So in the bottom part of this graphic we have the hour described it and in the left side we will see the minutes of the traffic. In this graph you will also notice that the numbers of minutes are going to be static but the number of hours are going to be moving from right to left depending where the gateway is located. So it will be showing you all the time the last hour of the gateway location. And also you will see that the hours will be moving from right to left.
now we're going to pass to reports you may click in reports here you can see statistics reports and the CDR reports as we know the CDR means the call detail records we can see statistics reports by channel by hour by day or by week or you can see the CDR reports by showing all the calls or showing only the complete calls. Now in gateways you can choose or all the gateways or you can choose a specific gateway to show the details. And also you can select and customize the time report frame. When you have done this you can select for example statistics of all the gateways from the last hour of today. I execute it and then it can show me a report. Now I select the second gateway and I choose by channel and it can show me a report of the last hour. As you can see it shows me the IP, the local channel, it will show me the attempts, the connected calls, the minutes by channel and the ACR and ACD. I can also choose the statistics per hour and it will show me what happened in the last hour. So as you can see it marks here according to alarm settings it has put a highlight where there is a, a low ASR. Let's see now alarms. Inside alarms you can create notification by email or SMS. First, type the name of the alarm, for example, ASR. Then enter the email where you would like to receive the alarm. In SMS 2, enter the international telephone number where to receive the alarm. Do not forget to enter the country code followed by the local number. In start hour, it means that this is the starting time when the alarm will start to run. An hour is the ending time when the alarm will stop to run. In gateway you choose the gateway to which you want to assign the alarm. In alarm type you can run the alarm by hour or by channel that is active in this gateway. Last minute is the period traffic to check. Let's say that if we want to check in the last hour we just write minus 60. Run every means how often the alarm should be executed and you write the numbers expressed in minutes. So let's say that the, this alarm will run every 30 minutes. And then you choose the parameters to set up the alarm. In this case, if there is less or equal than 20%, of, then I will receive an SMS to this number and to email. Or in case that I will receive more or equal 15 attempts, I also will receive an alarm by SMS or to my email. So here you decide the rules of the alarm. After you're done, you just create the alarm. One is done, you will see the available alarm in the bottom part of the page. In case you want to edit the alarm, just click on the yellow icon and you can re-edit the alarm or just simple can delete it. In report settings, you can add some highlights to the ASR and ACD reports so it will be easier to locate where the problem is. So in this case, if we will have more than 15 attempts and also an ASR lower than 20%, then we will see a highlight in our report that will allow us to locate faster the problem. For example, in this case, running a report, we will see the highlight that we set up before so it will help us to locate easier the problem. Account settings is where you will edit all your personal details and give the option to change access details and passwords. Now let's go to account billing and here is where you will purchase from third-party aggregators already integrated with the HyperTime service. So in order to receive an SMS notification alarm your account should have SMS credit available. In this trial, HyperTime gives you 50 SMS per gateway to try for free. And support, so here is support, you just fill out this form 
to specify the matter like billing, support, or other. Thank you for following us and for more information you can always come to our website to receive the latest updates and promotions.